Five minutes after 10 o'clock, beautiful Tuesday morning. This morning, it, it, you wouldn't have thought it would be this beautiful this soon, but you know what? It is. And we have two beautiful ladies in the studio. Three, if you count Robin. Uh, Sue Shields, Sarah Stroh have joined Robin and I, and they're here to talk to us about a very special event. 40th anniversary of anything is always special. And this is the Marion Senior Services 40th anniversary celebration happening on Sunday, September 15th at 4 p.m. at the Ocala Hilton Hotel. We're going to find out what's happening and maybe kind of have a little look back at the 40 years. Uh, Sue Shields, Sarah Stroh. Sue is an advocate for Marion Senior Services. And Sarah Stroh is the executive director of Marion Senior Services. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Pretty good. Very well. You look both look wonderful. Well, the sun's shining finally. The sun's shining, and you're sitting at this this grandiose new uh, new broadcast table, huh? Absolutely. It's and beautiful. everybody looks good when they sit at granite. That's what I think. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's my it's my new uh, my new statement. Everybody looks good. If you're sitting at wood, forget it. You're not. No. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So, uh, well, thank you for coming in today. The 40th anniversary, that's pretty big stuff. It is. And um, can I ask how long you two have been with, with the agency? I have been uh, with the agency. I'm going on my eighth year now. Eighth year, okay. Eighth year. I uh, started as finance director and then... So 20% of the time you were there. There you go. Okay. And um, it's, it's been a great time. Right? Yeah. And, and, Sue? and I've been on the board of directors, I think, for about three years. I got involved. My father had been ill, and, and I had heard they were looking for someone to be on the board of directors. And when you're in that kind of situation, with my father being ill and, yeah, and yeah. I have to take care of him, it just really struck me as a really good fit to, you know, to be involved. And so you and I had kind of parallel experiences with our parents at the same time. And one of the things that I ran into that you were able to help me with was the idea that you really have to word of mouth has to be the way you find out who's appropriate for you you know what i mean yeah advertising can tell you what they want you to know and it, you know what's good for my mom may not have been good for your dad and, and vice versa i know our friend doug's mom was not happy at one facility and other people we knew were very happy there exactly so i know we had that conversation one time and yeah and it is it's just a it, it's such an overwhelming kind of situation i know we passed each other in the hospital a couple of times yeah, also yeah um and and it is word of mouth and you just have to and you don't you really people. don't know so the is, is that one of the main uh things that that marion senior services you is used for it's kind of a bad way to ask that question but it is i'll just ask it that way well we're a great the public at large i guess would use yeah we're a great community resource i believe when it comes to you know what is out there even if it's something that we're not able to to fulfill or or do ourselves for who is ever asking for help you know there's a lot of great agencies and and other resources in the community that that we're either affiliated with or know about that we can refer people to so you know it's a great uh place to start especially you know when you're in that situation you don't know where to go so tell us about the fun thing the par- is it a party it's a celebration a celebration <laughs> the, a celebration is just under a party or just over oh, a party it's over a party just over a party <laughs> over a party so party is <laughs> under celebration <laughs> okay so what do you what's planned well you know in karaoke in, <laughs> well some of my employees would probably like that um but what we're having, uh, in the 40 years, we have never had a, a fundraiser like this. They have done a couple fundraisers before. But, you know, a year and a half ago when I realized the 40th was coming up, I'm thinking, what what, you know, what do we need more of an excuse to have a party? And we're celebrating our 40th, so, yeah, so right, let's right. get out there. Um, and it's, you know, even after 40 years of being in the community, a lot of people still didn't know we existed. So right, we felt right. this was a great way to, to to advocate and get the word out. And so what we're planning that night uh, or afternoon, actually, at the Hilton, uh, we'll have um, some great hors d'oeuvres that the Hilton's putting together. Uh, we're going to have live entertainment. We're going to have a DJ and some great live auction and, and silent auction items. Oh, and, nice. and, of course, we'll have a little program and just kind of say where the agencies come from and where we've uh you know progressed to here 40 years later and and it should be a fun evening so the celebration is also a fundraiser it's also a fundraiser and and how can we the public at large how can we help 
You well, know. you can call us and make a reservation <laughs> for the event. We'd Just love to up. have. Well, we need to have the reservations by September 10th because, oh, of okay. course, we okay. have to uh, to give the Hilton account uh, for the number of people. But the, the tickets are $40 uh, per person. Okay. Um, and like you said, it, it we're celebrating and and doing a fundraiser at the same time because of course you know i was here a few months ago talking about the sequestration cuts that we had that's and right, so we've right. we've had funding cuts so we decided to to make this into a fundraiser for the agency as well yeah kind of a two for one it, it, it is the way we're doing things nowadays we, we have to realize that the government might not come through for us we've got to be creative and clever exactly. we want to keep things going one of the things i didn't realize until i got on the board of directors is i always thought of it because it was always called marion county senior services that I always thought the county was doing was that a, some type of a, a, a large government funding and then when I when I got more involved that that's I mean they do some funding but uh, that's I thought they were just they that's ran just a small it, part and it of was it? just it was just or amazing to Is find it? out well we're we're because we are a private uh, nonprofit 501c3 organization and like Sue said when our name was Marion County Senior Services oh, right, a lot right, of people right. uh, felt that that we were a county agency um, but we are a private nonprofit and, and have our own funding sources um, but but the county does uh, provide some funding for us for our transportation needs so, so there is that so give us a little history lesson 40 years ago how did how did this all start who started it this was started by just a group of, of volunteers that had had gotten together um the it was funded with a hundred dollar grant from blessed trinity and they had uh the group of people from first presbyterian church and some from first united Methodists, and and they kind of got together saw there was a need to deliver some home delivered meals to seniors who were shut in and so that first go around um in 1973 they delivered 13 meals to to uh, homebound mm. seniors and you know now we've grown into an agency that you know obviously provides home delivered meals and, and all kinds of in-home support services uh congregate meals transportation you know they started with a hundred dollars and now we're about around a seven million dollar agency wow. wow wow that's amazing so, and how many people do you feed now um right now we feed about 400 uh homebound seniors every day and about 150 uh, people in our congregate meal sites and who brings the food to them are they volunteers do they are the employees both for the home delivered meals uh they're both volunteers and home delivered um given the size of our county and some of the real rural locations it would be hard to find volunteers to go out into some of the more remote so we do have some right. paid routes that that deliver but uh, but probably at least half our routes are our volunteers which you know just without their support and right. and yeah. giving enough time and that we wouldn't be able to feed as many as we do and you also do programs sue for the seniors at the congregate meal seniors. sites we do Correct. They have activities, um, whether it be bingo or karaoke. Um, we have the Wii Bowling. They do that a lot. Uh, we had a volunteer come in who did Tai Chi once a week um, at our main site there. Right, right, and uh, right. it's been great. Do you know, I, w I wonder if anybody here, I know I can't, but can you maybe tell us what the landscape was like in Marion County for senior citizens 40 years ago. I mean, I know what it was 10 years ago because I worked at Park Place 10, you know, 15 years ago now, I guess, but but 40 years ago, I wonder what it was like. Were there assisted, was assisted living facility even a term back then? Well, unfortunately, Larry, I was living in Minnesota at the time, <laughs> so, so I can't quite get And you were only two, accurate. right? Well, not quite two, but not, not <laughs> I was in elementary school, we'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, obviously, Paddock Mall didn't exist a lot of places, you know, so yeah. it, it was much more rural back then. But it, it seems like just the the notion that everybody had about adult uh, senior facilities at that time was very, not industrial, what's the word I'm looking for? Institutional. Institutional. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I think part of, of what's happened, too, is oh. obviously we have a visitor at the window. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know our our aging our population has aged and and the baby boomer boomers getting older so i think there's been obviously a lot more conversation because it's become it's it's you know what's what's out there right now and, and what we're dealing with 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 people getting older uh sarah and sue uh you are in a new studio and i've got something to tell you in order to hear the phone call you'll need the headphones and there is a caller so uh, in the other studio, we could there was a speaker that did this. So uh, here we go. Let's take a phone call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Sue Shields and Sarah Stroh. 
Good morning. This is Leonard Barron Sr. and also the first ten years that they were that there was a Marion County Senior Services I were I was one of the first employees. Is that right? Yep, I worked there for ten years. Uh, Nancy Picard was the first executive director, and also I think First Baptist also made a contribution to to them when they first started. Um, one of their first offices was over at the church. Then the next real office was um, right across from the post office in that little uh, uh, senior uh, apartment complex. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. Yes, there were a couple of ACLFs back then. Really? And what, yeah. were, they, what were they like? I mean, now they're, they're like, like mini resorts. What were they like no, back they, then? They, they were nothing like that. They were like... I tell you, a couple of them were old uh, motels. Oh, wow. Like a couple of them were on Pine. I did know the name because I used to help place clients. Because I did some of everything when I was there. Uh, uh, Senior services, did case management, opened several dining sites, uh, delivered. I I did, uh, you know, I I would do part-time in one position and part-time in another. I did case management and then... Also uh, opened several dining sites uh, uh, and did some training for that throughout Marion County. So you got to mark it on your calendar. You got a party to go to. You 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 need to be at the celebration on on the uh, what is it the September fifteenth. One of the nice but things yeah. about Marion Senior Services though is that they um, their focus is in keeping people at home. And having the ability to that the meals are delivered and That's they true, yeah. they get yeah, caseworkers yeah. and things that, yeah, that come back, to your home. It was that way back then too. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was uh, it, I, I when I left there, I went to the hospital and spent twenty something years at Oak Hill Region and retired from there. But um, I can I, I really enjoyed it. I, uh, I I did a lot of volunteer stuff too, in addition to the time because. I don't think a lot of people do that kind of stuff for really just the money. It wasn't that you know it didn't pay that great? But we did a lot of things. We, I was involved with the starting of hospice, the first hospice here, and also the first Alzheimer's support group when I left and went to the hospital. Uh, but there were Fort uh, Fort King First Presbyterian Church was very also very involved with 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 them from the beginning. All right. Thank you for your call, Lenny. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate uh-huh. that. And obviously made a big contribution to the organization. Uh, Marion Senior Services, you were you mentioning the misunderstanding when it was called Marion County Senior Services. Do, is there no, any other misunderstandings? Do people see Marion Senior Services and think you provide other services that you don't? Um, not that I'm aware of it, but uh-huh. I mean, people, when they call us, I mean, if, if they have, like I was saying earlier, you know, if they have a need or or something that we're not able to fulfill, hopefully we can have a... But is transportation one of the things you do provide? Yes, we do. We, we are the Marion Transit buses that you see That's everywhere. Right. That's kind of where I was going with that. Now, was yeah. that because of a misunderstanding and then, like, everybody kept calling you up and saying, can you take me? And suddenly the, an idea was born? Or was that part of it from the beginning? Well, I, I know they started transportation back in the, the probably mid to late 70s, uh, and okay. it started with, you know, one station wagon that they got to take oh, people really? to, to uh, appointments. And, you know, here we are, you know, in night or in uh, 2013, we have 42 buses. 42 buses? We do, we do 30, wow. 37 routes a day. We, we transport and do probably 700 plus trips a day to, to and, medical and life-sustaining appointments. And what are the riders paying to ride the bus? Um, we have several different funding sources, but uh, for, for most people, it's $2, $2. Uh, one way, $2. See, I knew it was somewhere down there. I yeah. knew it was a low number, yeah. And and whether you're coming from the, the far reaches of the county or you're you're wow. right here, so it's it's a great service to those that uh, you know need to, to get to dialysis and appointments. Does it extend so, beyond uh, the senior? In other words, could a handicapped person who may be 36 years old or something could that? Yeah, transportation. That is, and what you were co- probably alluding to earlier, transportation is probably one of the misconceptions that we have because we do transportation for uh, babies all the way up through. Seniors, there's oh, okay. there's no age limit there. We are the transportation disadvantage coordinator for Marion County. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sometimes when a, a business is based in Ocala, sometimes people think that that service only services the Ocala community, but it's very refreshing for you to get the word out that you encompass all of Marion County, whether you're in Donellan or Bellevue 
or any of those Salt outlying springs, wherever, reaches. Yeah, or, yeah, because some people just don't realize that. It's a big, big area to cover. It, it so, is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do have another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling. Uh, good morning. Uh, I used to be very upset about Marion Transit. I'd see uh, the Marion uh, Transit show up, and the garage door would come out, and uh, people would come out through the garage door, and they're sitting in the car. And I'm saying, why in God's name are these people, don't, why don't they use their own car? Well, it dawned on me eventually, because I'm, I'm a senior c- uh, citizen now myself, uh, that uh, sometimes you have a condition where you can't drive for a while and you still got to get to these doctors. You could be recovering from an operation of some sort or a broken limb or something like that, and you just can't physically drive at that time. But that doesn't mean you should get rid of your car because eventually everybody that has a license wants to eventually get behind the wheel somehow or the other where they're not dependent. But I do think you guys do perform a terrific service for Marion County and the citizens in there, and it's uh, one of the great things about our county that uh, we can rely on. Well, I'll thank you very you. much. Thank you. I know. Uh, so let's talk about the party a little bit, or the celebration, because <coughs> we want to get people there. Uh, it is happening on the 15th, but we need to have the RSVP in by the 10th. Correct. And what do we just call and say, yes, sh- put us on the list? Or? Yes, just give us a call at 620. Uh huh. 3501 okay and we will transfer you to the the person who's taking the reservations and um we we accept credit cards now or you can mail in a check and uh it's it will be a great event It'll so is be it fun. a dance or is it a it's, it's a dinner for sure it, well it's it's hors d'oeuvres hors d'oeuvres I, okay uh, it won't be a sit-down dinner but just a chance for people to to mingle we're going to have, have people that you know worked for the agency years ago uh diane uh Morthland, who who was one of the original executive directors, and Gail Cross, who was my predecessor, uh, they'll be there. Um, so it'll just be a fun evening, and and like I said earlier, a fundraiser as well to look at some of the great auction items that right. we have, and mm-hmm. and then learn a little bit about the agency, hopefully as well. Has it, have any of you ever been to the ninth floor on the Hilton? I have not. It's, it's like the secret floor, the ninth floor, <laughs> right? Is it the president's suite or it's, something? I think so. Yeah. There's a bar. Everybody yeah. says there's a bar up on the ninth floor. No. You can't get to the ninth floor unless you have a room up there. Oh, so well, we'll, we'll be on the first floor. Maybe yeah. they could maybe they could auction that off. Maybe, oh, that's right. Maybe the Hilton there could you say, go. "You know what? You bid on the ninth floor." I, I will ask about that. That's maybe a great we will idea. have. I've never known anybody who's been there. Well, I will ask about it, Larry. But you know who was there? What's what's that celebrity's name? Ah, uh, uh, the guy from uh, the Partridge Family, David, David, David Cassidy. Cassidy. Yeah, he was up there. That's how I know. Oh, well, there you go. So I, w- w- I used to sketch in the lobby, and the, and the girl was saying, oh, I'm taking something up to the ninth floor. I said, ninth? I thought this only went to eight floors. Oh, no, we got a ninth floor. Secret ninth floor. Yeah. <laughs> David Cassidy's up there. <laughs> a, be- a good kept secret here in Marion County. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I just blew it on everybody. Now the people at the hills will go, oh, no, I can't believe you just talked about it. Uh, when you deliver meals to the people, sometimes will you notice, will, will the drivers notice their living conditions and maybe make a call in case they feel they need help or they're being neglected by their family? That That is probably one of the best things, I think, about our home delivered meal program and w- one of the most important services that the agency provides uh, because there has been several times where, you know, the drivers get to know their clients and, and how their demeanor is and how they look and I act. bet they do, yeah. And we actually had a situation, uh, one, uh, one two-week period in May where – uh, for six consecutive days in there, we actually had to call 911 every day for one of our clients. Oh, no. Someone had fallen, mm. um, you know, when they got there, um, you know, just, or they just weren't looking right. And, and so, you know, that's, that's one of the, uh, services that yes these people are getting the meal but to me the far more valuable part is they're getting a well check every day as well and 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 visiting with someone because so many people live alone are some of them reluctant to have the the food delivered to like do they feel like they're tapping into something that they 
somebody else would be you know how people will be they'll say you know what i'm too proud let me let me let somebody else get that instead of me you know i I think there's some people that that are uh can feel that way but they also you know um they're able to donate towards their meal if they're able to and that help gives them okay even if it's a dollar they they feel like they're giving something that's well um, that's for that so so it's not you know total quote charity that they may feel that they're getting but it's a you know they're getting the meal and the well check and and uh yeah yeah it's, it's an very inter- important it's an interesting phenomenon about us mm-hmm. human beings is that we often like to feel like we're contributing mm-hmm. and we don't always want to hand out uh let's see if we can go back to the phone good morning you're on the air with sarah stro and sue shields uh good morning ladies this is sunny again is this the meal drum wheels Yes, we we are um, the Meals on Wheels provider for Marion oh, County. Okay, all right. Um, my neighbors were, you know, a lot older than me, and uh, they had to give up driving. So they did definitely rely on your services as far as their doctors and uh, and uh, the Meals on Wheels. Mm-hmm. And a couple of times, the the lady used to come around with the Meals on Wheels, couldn't get an answer. And uh, she stayed there quite a little while, and she used, I guess she used her own cell phone to call up and find out what was going on, but uh, she couldn't get them to answer the door. Mm-hmm. And uh, eventually they did answer the door, and uh, I was amazed that she did take the time, rather than just leaving it at the door or whatever, took well, the time to make sure that she... Uh, uh, saw somebody mm-hmm. and that's one of the important right. parts of it if if they're if we expect the person to be there and they don't answer uh you know we have the protocol that that the driver will call back to the office and then we we have a you know contact sheet whether it's called you know calling a, a daughter a, a, a another person just to to check on them and and so you know we want to make sure that those people are okay so for those of you who've never heard about Marion Senior Services, maybe this is the first time, maybe you're new to the area, um, this is a great opportunity for you to get to know more. And so we'll, we'll get that information out there, but then I want to make sure we wrap it up with talking about the celebration so we can invite more people to it. Uh, so uh, somebody who has never heard about it would like to perhaps learn more. Is there a website? Do they call the same number? Or? They can call the same number. Uh, that is our, our main phone number. Also, our uh, website address is uh, Marion seniorservices.org okay just all spelled out uh and on our website we detail all the different services that we provide there's different tabs um that they can click on to find out about meals or in-home support services or transportation uh and also about the event coming up so um they can they can check that out as well and and give us a call all right so it sounds like a good opportunity the celebration sounds like a good opportunity to just network Hang out with some friends, have a good time over at the Hilton, and bid on some items. A- any uh, ideas? Some of the items that'll be auctioned off. Well, some of the uh, live auction items. We have a, a week uh, long stay in Orma Beach that okay. we're auctioning off. That's going to be for the end of October. So uh-huh. we have that. We have uh, you get to spend a day uh, riding around with the sheriff. He's volunteered his time for that. So that oh, would, wow, that would be very interesting. Yes. I think. Wow. So we're we're very appreciative to oh, uh, Sheriff Blair. Let's get on that. the most annoying person to win that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we we have a lot of great silent auction items. You know the the Disney tickets and SeaWorld and golf packages and and just all kinds of uh, you know gift cards to restaurants and tickets to the Civic Theater and just all kinds of great things that that will help raise money. And you know we're very uh, appreciative of all our donors that have helped supported us with this. And do you need any more? I mean, do you need any more auction? items or? we can always use auction items we will put them to good use and they can call that same number and ask for me okay we also are, are have some sponsors we have quite a few sponsors and if anyone is interested in sponsoring we're still available you know we still have sponsor mm-hmm. spaces available okay. okay and this community always comes through when you it's I love it here. It's, I think it's the best community around. Sue, you have been an integral part of that. Uh, well, thank I, you. I mean, you have brought so many things to our radio show just just in helping promote other things, whether it's the Cancer Society or, or the things you were doing with Vi. How's Vi doing, by the way? Vi's doing great. Good, good. She's doing good, real good. good. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you for what you've done for our community and for taking some time out of your day to be on the air with us today to talk about it. Congratulations on 40 years. Thank you very much. We appreciate you letting us come and talk about it. And, uh, you know, we're all getting there, so one day I might have you bring a meal to me.
Uh, all right, the phone number, just to repeat it, is 620-3501. The website is marionseniorservices.org. You need to RSVP by the 10th, which is uh, eight days from today. It's $40 a person. And if you need any of that repeated, call us here. We'll be glad to do that for you. Or Robin made it very easy. Just go to WOCA.com, look at the guest list for today, and you will see Sue and Sarah's name at the 1005 slot and all of that information underneath their names. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for Thank coming you in. Thank you so Sorry, much. Robin. We will take a little break and be right back. We're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. 